In today's digital era, software engineering is the backbone of technological advancement. From powering applications to orchestrating complex systems, software engineering plays a pivotal role in crafting the brains behind unconventional semiconductor solutions. Texas Instruments stands as a beacon of innovation in the semiconductor realm, pioneering breakthroughs that shape the very fabric of modern technology. From embedded systems to software design and beyond, TI's commitment to excellence is the driving force behind their cutting-edge solutions that power everyday devices we rely on. In line with this spirit of meticulous innovation, today's episode of Interview Insights with TI focuses on the software interview process. Without further ado, join us as we share a few tips to excel in this field with the help of our interviewer. Hello, I'm Rishabh and I'm delighted to be your guide through the Texas Instruments Software Interview Insights. With a passion for exploring your coding skills and problem-solving mindset, I'm here to help you navigate the intricacies of software assessment process. Drawing from my experience in the software realm, I'm excited to share some tips and strategies that will empower you to shine during the interview. Let's get started. First and foremost, once a problem is given to you, we evaluate your approach to the problem. To break this down, let's take an example problem. Write a program to reverse a string. As an interviewer, here I will evaluate your understanding of pointers, strings and coding skills. To help you understand this process, we have my teammate here to talk you through it. Once you've seen the problem, express your thoughts audibly. Think aloud. Don't hesitate to inquire when uncertain. Ensure that you establish clear, reasonable assumptions for the problem. We next look at how organized your thought process is. For this, start by writing pseudocode and explaining your approach to the interviewer. If it's an online interview, use a virtual whiteboard. Take a systematic approach to each question. Think carefully and jot down the information you know to organize your thoughts. Even if you've seen a similar question before, approach it as if it's new. There might be added complexities. For our example problem, the first thing you need to find is the string termination and start the reverse process from there. Now, let's approach the question of how will you deal with a mistake made during the test. Don't let a mistake set you back. Maintaining confidence is key. It's okay to make mistakes, but it's important to not let it affect the quality of your answers. The interviewer is more focused on what you get right instead of what you get wrong. Exactly. Moving on, let's talk about other parameters we look at while interviewing. One of the important ones is the regard you hold yourself up to. What is a good enough solution for you? Where do you stop? For this, make sure your solution directly pertains to the question. The problem solving method holds more weight than the final answer. Always target a top quality optimal solution. Keep all requirements in mind and incorporate them into your solution. Confirm you have included all provided information. If you find a solution, Consistently explore whether a better approach is feasible and walk towards achieving it. In our example problem, your next step would be ensuring you write the correct code, but also add comments so that it's self-explanatory. Following the proper syntax is a huge plus. Definitely. Now let's talk about what happens when you don't know the approach to the problem beforehand. Initiate by seeking clarifications to fully comprehend the problem statement. If the solution approach is unclear, engage the interviewer to guide you towards the starting point of the analysis, stay composed and transparently communicate any difficulties you face in reaching a solution. Pay attention to hints, as your response to challenges beyond your expertise reflects your problem-solving adaptability, which companies often evaluate. Lastly, we evaluate how you react when incremental data is provided to you. Let's take the case of our current example. Here, a follow-up question could be to implement this program using recursion. You shouldn't appear surprised when recursion is mentioned. Instead, 
view it as a challenging task and brainstorm potential solutions. You can recall a function where characters were swapped using a temporary variable in a loop. This program follows a similar pattern. Instead of using a loop, you can implement it recursively. As new information is introduced, consider the alterations from the previous state and their impact on your existing solution. It's possible that at times, no changes may occur. When all of this is taken care of, you'll have your solution. For our example problem, you should have something like this. Now that we have understood how the interview process can pan out, let's look at a slightly more complex program. Let's take this one. Write a program to remove duplicates from a sorted linked list. Even when the problem presented to you is slightly more complex, trust your instinct. Here, the key is comprehending that progression to the next element should only occur once all duplicates of the current element have been removed. That's what an organized thought process could feel like. Take it one step at a time. As a candidate, remember to ask pertinent questions and establish sensible assumptions. For instance, inquire whether the linked list already exists or if you need to craft the code to create one. Clarifying such assumptions enhances your problem solving approach. Coming back to our earlier discussion about what to do when you don't know the approach beforehand. For this program as well, getting as many clarifications as possible is again the right way to go about it. A good follow-up question here would be how to implement this if the list is unsorted. If it is an unsorted list, that means you need to traverse the whole list multiple times ensuring to remove duplicates. You need to ensure that you handle the logic well to remove all the duplicates. That's all there is to it. With this step-by-step -step process, a steady mindset and not giving into the nerves of the process, you should now have your solution. And it should look something like this. And with that, that's it for this one. See you at TI. All the best.